Hi there, it's me. We're on our way to um, Frank Mir's seminar, which is actually an amazing thing that he came to, to Vienna, because um, as you probably know, he's one of the greatest fighters of all time, whoever competes in the UFC, he's uh, the man who definitely described one era of the heavyweight. Looking forward to meet this guy a lot. My friend Eve is here, uh, the, the, the practice is starting actually, uh, very fast, very fast. Um, what do you expect from this seminar, Eve? I'm very excited, I hope to learn uh, a lot of techniques and uh, something new, some new possibilities and uh, I'm very excited. I'm very excited that I'm going to interview the Frank Mir. I even have uh, the questions like the ready. That's the first time in my life that I did it. A little notes. Frank, first of all, um, thank you for coming to Vienna. You are a great champion. You are an you're amazing hero to me. You're one of my favorite oh, fighters, thanks. if not absolutely number one. Um, what is your connection to MMA? Tell me, what is it that you think that is so cool about MMA that makes you, that makes you even mentally stronger, even spiritually stronger? Um, what is it that, that, that we have in our sport? Well, I think that uh, MMA, to me, martial arts, when you do live combat, represents just that, dealing with um, adversity. And I think sometimes, especially in modern society, our lives are pretty easily. You know, we worry about things that, you know, a hundred years ago, probably people would laugh about. That, you, know, yeah. you know, my car is a little old. Even the power getting turned off in your house is not that yeah. bad if you think about it. Yeah. So the good thing about fighting is you get to go into the uh, arena and compete or train in the gym, compete against other people. It makes you nervous, it makes you scared. You make mistakes. You make mental mistakes that that you know uh, show themselves physically, and then you can work on them and learn how to build them. Like, why did you hesitate here? Why did you hold back here? Why did you go this way? And those all help build your mind for everyday life. Um, ich habe hier mit mir einen von den berühmtesten österreichischen äh, MMA-Fighters aller Zeiten, Nando Gilemino, hier auf diesem Seminar. Äh, Nando, was erwartest du dir, äh, was erwartest du dir von, von, von Frank Mir und von, von Tag mit ihm? Naja, da kann man nur Gutes erwarten von Frank Mir. Ne? Er ist ein super Submission spezialist und Stand-Up ist auch sehr gut. Yeah. Und ich erwarte mal neue Techniken. Ja. Ist er ist ein von deinen Lieblings-Heavyweights aller schon, Zeiten? Ja, ja. Er ist ja. Schon super. Here with me, my old friend Nebil Sebai. He's the guy I know already for eight years since he's very active in uh, Austrian or let's say even European fighting scene. He's the head coach of uh, Gym 23 here in Vienna and he's the guy who brought actually Frank Mir to this wonderful seminar. How did you do it? How did you make it to, to, to bring such a huge name uh, of, of, of UFC and of MMA to our city. Uh, actually, I just found out that uh, he is coming as a commentator for ACB, and uh, I have some friends working for ACB and knowing Frank Mir, so I asked them uh, if it's possible to bring the guy to to to, to do a seminar. It, in our gym or somewhere else, in another gym, no problem. But basically, we need contact with, with MMA fans. And uh, he said yes, he was really happy to do it, so it's perfect. Frank Mir is a great guy and great personality. But to be honest, you know, from such a champion, I didn't really expect anything, anything but that. The, the next question is, uh, what do you think of yoga? The yoga is becoming like kind of a popular now among martial artists. Do you do yoga as well sometimes? A little bit, not as much as I should. My wife's heavily into it, um, but I stretch a lot. You know, I just don't hold a lot of the positions and stuff. Um, 
you know, a victim of not, you know, following it through. But so far, I think it's very healthy for you and very good. And actually, there's a, a guy in the U.S., uh, uh, Diamond Dallas Page, a former yeah. pro wrestler, yeah. who's big into it. And actually, I'm trying to, I had to have a surgery, so I, I missed it the first time. Yeah. I'm actually trying to get out to his place and do like a two-week sabbatical learning how to Amazing. do yoga. Amazing. With me, uh, here is my friend Aleksandar Rakic, he's uh, one of the most talented uh, MMA fighters we have in Europe, I can say. He's definitely, in my point of view, a UFC prospect and he's going to be here today at the seminar um, uh, with Frank Mir. You have already met Frank, uh, how is he? I like him very much, we talk a little bit and he also invite me to come to Vegas to train with him in the gym, so... That's amazing. It's really nice, yeah. That's amazing. How is your training uh, going on at the moment? My training goes very well. Uh, I will be fighting 4th of March in Vienna against a very Brazilian nice. guy. Maybe I go to Sweden to train with Gus uh, Gustafsson and, and Latifi and Manuel again. You know, for the first time in my life, I have prepared uh, questions for somebody. Well, that shows how excited I was to interview Frank Mir. I have a feeling that a lot of sports develop you uh, physically and mentally, but with Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, I think that uh, we develop even spiritually. Did you have that feeling that you are like growing on that mat? Yeah, in no, a certain definitely. Way? Uh, dealing with problems and how to come at people very strategically, um, it adds good. But Jiu-Jitsu, I think all the martial arts. That's why it's good in MMA because you get to pull from different ones. Boxing has a different mentality. Wrestling has a different mentality. Jiu-Jitsu has a different mentality. And the best, each one has great strengths to it, but then sometimes there are weaknesses. There's pros and cons to each of the martial arts. Right. Boxing, karate, Aikido. There's good things about it, and then there's bad. And that's what's so good about MMA, is I can pull the strengths from each one and try to remove the weaknesses. I have a great pleasure to talk to Dr. Clement. Uh, who is actually a very successful uh, man here in Austria and a great martial artist too. He's a blue belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, he won two tournaments already and I would love to ask him, Doctor, what is actually what, what, what brings you to the martial arts? I did the Ironman three years in a row in yeah. Carinthia and 2010 I paid my trainer in advance for a year, okay. but I didn't feel like swimming, I didn't want to ride my bike. Okay. And one tube station from my office, yes. there was the Iron Fist gym. All right. And I thought, I'll have a look at that. And of course there was a, I wasn't scared, but there was a sort of entry. Uh, like I, a barrier to yeah, that. Yeah, a little yeah. barrier. But I went there and I liked it immediately. And Nabil, thank you very much. Thank you for doing such a great job in, uh, in uh, martial arts of, 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 of Vienna, of Austria, of even Europe. Uh, you are a great enthusiast. You are one of the main persons actually in this scene around here. And uh, I thank you for that. Yeah, thank you too, Warriors and, and Yojis, for, for doing the blogs, for having interest in martial arts, for uh, combining like uh, fighting and the relaxing thing like yoga. It works all together, you know. Uh, and I hope more guys will get interested to our sport and uh, thank you both guys very much. Thank you very much, Nabilos. <laughs> Fantastic practice and uh, day in the seminar with Frank Mir. We are here in the downtown Vienna and we are waiting for him uh, to show him a little bit of this wonderful city.
That was another great day for us. I must tell you that my buddy Mihailo, who is behind the camera, and I, we are very grateful for all of you guys who are watching this Warriors and Yogis vlog. Thank you, Frank Mir, for being our guest. It was an honor to meet you, and it was a fantastic day.